So then, folks, welcome back to Talking Wolves. Wolves have made their first signing of the January transfer window, and one that is sort of come out of the blue, really, a surprise one that hasn't really uh, been linked much. Uh, but they completed the signing of Japanese international Heyo Kawabi from Grasshopper Zurich over in Switzerland. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be finding out a little bit more about him, looking at his stats, getting a little bit of insight and letting you know where the story came from. As always, let me know your thoughts on the transfer as well in the comments section down below. And be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So, like I said, it, it's one that is a, a little bit of a surprise because it's sort of come out of nowhere. Um, no journalists have linked us to actually signing Kawabe uh, recently. There was one story which we posted out on Talking Walls a couple of days ago and I actually spoke about it in the transfer video that was released yesterday. And um, that... Totti Gomez, who is a Portuguese centre-back who is on loan from Wolves to Grasshoppers, was coming back to Wolverhampton to train in Compton this month alongside a Japanese midfielder, which was Heio Kawabe. Now, <clears throat> it, it seems a little bit strange that they were bringing him over, but there was no indication that Wolves were going to be signing this player at all. So as it stands, Wolves have signed him on a three-and-a-half-year deal for £500,000, it looks like he's going to be heading back on loan to Grasshoppers at the end of the month. Uh, basically, like many clubs uh, that side of Europe, Germany, Switzerland, they have a winter break in between the season. Uh, so the Swiss uh, league doesn't restart until the end of January. Um, so this was an opportunity Bruno Lage wanted to take to have a look at the likes of Gomez. And obviously he's going to be doing the same now with Kawabi. Now they've, they've sort of indicated there's a strong chance that they're going to be loaned back to Grasshoppers. But part of me still thinks it's fairly vague. Um, they, they're saying it's likely to be loaned back. So I think there is still that possibility that both Gomez and Kawabe will, could stay at Wolves if the club wanted them to. Um, as far as I'm aware, if Bruno Lage wants to select them for the upcoming FA Cup game this weekend against Sheffield United... They are available. So fans may well see their fir the first outing of Heyo Kawabi in a Wolves shirt on Sunday at Molyneux. Um, at the very least, they may well be in attendance at the, the ground. So it'd be great to see them uh, see them there. Now, we don't know a huge amount about him. He's 26 years of age. So, you know, you would say he's probably past that stage of being a young player and now more coming towards his prime. He's a central midfielder, also plays as an attacking midfielder as well. Um, and from the comments that Scott Sellers, the technical director at Wolves, he said he's a very energetic, very busy uh, player and has good quality. And he's really shone for grasshoppers this year and one of the main reasons that they're doing so well in the league. He moved uh, to grasshoppers sort of, of the, in the summer of last year um, from a Japanese side for just over £1 million. Uh, so Wolves obviously signing him for about 500000 seems to be half-decent business. He scored four goals and got two assists uh, so far in the Swiss Super League. Um, so I am going to be intrigued to see if he can sort of make that step up to the, the English Premier League if he is ever going to play for Wolves because there are a lot of people, rightly so, questioning this move as either one, being a favour to grasshoppers or two, just being a market move, really. As we've seen in the past, you know, Fosun have made no secret that they want to sign a big Asian superstar and try and tap into that Asian market. And there is a part of me as a fan that sort of gets it and I agree with it. But of course, there are a large portion of the, our fan base that don't agree with it and transfer should just be to strengthen the squad, which I think is a fair enough comment as well. We saw it not so much in, in recent uh, windows, but at the start of Fosun's reign, they signed a number of Chinese players from in and around Europe and England and none had really worked out. Ha, uh, Wu Li was linked a lot, but Huang Qi Chan has been the one that's really sort of broken to the first team and done well and you can see the impact that's had on the, the market for Wolves especially over in uh, South Korea so a move like this um, for Kawabe is it just a, a ploy to tap into the Japanese market or is there actually a player of quality there another thing Scott Seller said that is due to new criteria coming in um, is due to Brexit and so on and it's going to be more difficult to sign international players uh, he said that Kawabe may well be a player that if we didn't sign him in January, Wolves would never be able to sign due to the new work permit rule. So it might just be that one that 
you know, we, let's make sure we get him now so we don't lose out in the future. But uh, by the comments they're making, there's obviously uh, some sort of player there. Um, I actually spoke to a Grasshoppers fan earlier on today as well, just to find out their side of things. I spoke to Natalia, who is a, 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 um, a fan of Grasshoppers, and asked her a few questions. Uh, the first one being, in her opinion, what are Kawabe's best positions? Uh, she said he's been able to impress in the central attacking midfield and in the central midfield as well. But she prefers him in the latter. But I believe if he can shorten the time he needs to assess the situation when playing closer to the opponent's goal, he will develop directly in the attack as well. I went on to ask what his best qualities are. She said he has a good vision of the game, a good passing quality that enable him to be an essential part of the transition from the build-up to the attack. He's a very intelligent player and adapts into European level of football. That has been happening fast at Grasshoppers, but would need way more intensive work in the English Premier League. And this can bring him to a high level. Apart from playing skills, he seems hardworking and easygoing. He speaks good English, uh, which is not a given for a Japanese. It seems that playing in Europe has been his goal and he's been striving to achieve it. I then I went on to ask, does she think he's going to be good enough for the English Premier League? She said his progress has been impressive, but a move straight to the English Premier League would surprise her a lot. As the club explained, it's more like a future prospect for Wolves. Also for the purposes of him getting a working visa easier now than later. Unless Hayo impresses the coach at the winter training to the extent that the loan back to Grasshoppers does not happen. In general, a loan back, in her opinion, would be the most logical decision. Then finally, I just asked a roundabout question in regards to the actual partnership between Grasshoppers and Wolves. Because, you know, as Wolves fans, we, all, we have plenty of um, sort of opinions of it, but... I've, I asked from a, her point of view as a, a fan of the Swiss side, and she said personally, she you know you need to realise that the Swiss league in general is much rather a step in the development of talented players than the final destination. The goal of any club in the league, even the bigger ones, is to help young players rise and then benefit from it. Speaking of grasshoppers in particular, I just hope that the partnership stays balanced with grasshoppers getting good players on loan. It has not always been the case, but the overall impression is very good, and not having the best players taken in the middle of the season. If, for example, Kawabi or Totti, or at least either of them are loaned back for the rest of the season, it will probably continue fine. But so far, the partnership has been beneficial for Grasshoppers. She also said it wouldn't be an unpopular opinion, but it's definitely not the only one. That some fans, and not only Grasshoppers fans, but other league followers, obviously do not like Swiss sides being basically a farm team. So, realistically speaking, the partnership can be beneficial, but many fans are still waiting to see how it pans out. But I think that's some really good, um, some really good insight on obviously the connection with grasshoppers and wolves. If you don't completely know, grasshoppers were bought uh, last year, I think it was, and actually owned uh, by the owner of wolves. His wife, uh, so Guo Guangchang's wife, owns uh, grasshoppers, and many members of staff. Uh, directors at Wolves have gone over to uh, direct to be sporting directors at Grasshoppers and obviously the connection with players is happening too so this is really if it pans out and works for Wolves this is really the first uh, benefit Wolves have had from this in regards to actually getting a player that's done well in Switzerland and coming over to the Premier League. Um, I am looking, really looking forward to seeing if he does play this weekend and really looking forward to seeing how he can do and hopefully it is a player that is talented and can bolster the Wolves squad and isn't just a player that Wolves have brought in to bolster the side, uh, you know, and their marketability uh, around the world. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Do you think this is a good signing for Wolves? 500k, it's pretty risk-free to be fair. And uh, fingers crossed there's a, a player in there. Be sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, guys. And until next time, I'll see you all very, very soon.